My top tip as it relates to the teens that I work with who are typically highly sensitive, um, who have big emotions and struggle to contain those big emotions without them turning into impulsive or destructive behaviors. The biggest and most important thing that I want them to know or that I work with them on is recognizing shame and what shame feels like in your body. And that can feel a lot of times like it's, it's a dark passenger, that it's along for the ride with you and it's this sinkling and sickly feeling and this static in your brain that tells you that you're not good enough and that you don't belong and that you need to withdraw and hide to keep yourself safe and to protect yourself. But what happens when you act on the urges that arise with shame is that you tend to teach your brain that those thoughts are true when they're actually not. And when you can recognize the sensations that show up in your body when shame shows up for you, when you can notice the urges to pull back, to recoil, to hide, and when you can name that emotion as shame and instead approach people that care about you and open up discussions to access support, that's when the magic starts to happen, when you truly and really start to see changes in your life in a way that builds a life that's more worth living.